Yo, what's going on guys? Nashry here, back with another video. And in today's video, we're bringing back a classic. I'm at my parents' house, we got the net set up, we're gonna be doing a good old fashioned backyard shooting hockey video. So this one's gonna be kind of a more chill, like vlog style video. I got a couple things that I wanna go over with you guys. First of all, I got some new equipment on Black Friday and Cyber Monday that I wanna show off for you guys. Number two, I have this like workout routine, hockey training thing that I wanna start doing and I want you guys to hold me accountable. And number three, I've got some new video ideas that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. And of course, during all that, we're gonna be shooting some pucks. So I've got the net set up, I got the shooting pad, and ooh. So yeah, I know this is kind of a different style video, but if you enjoy these, be sure to hit the video with a like, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, let's jump into the gear. All right, the moment you have all been waiting for, this is the gear that I picked up. First of all, we have a pair of Bauer 1X gloves. This is simple, black and white, matches any color, any team. So I managed to snag these for $50 on Black Friday. Are you kidding me? This is like a $100, $120 pair of gloves back in the day. Got them for 50 bucks, not too bad. Our next purchase, I know you guys like sticks, we got a brand new twig, the Bauer Vapor 1X Lite. So you guys know I've kind of been on a warrior kick recently, been really enjoying those, but I decided to go back to my roots a little bit. I was watching some of my old roller videos and I was like, man, I kind of miss the Bauer life. If you guys don't know me, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I live really close to Ohio State and there's a shop there that sells overstocked pro stock Ohio State sticks. And that's what this one is. I've never really bought pro stock sticks before, but I did some research going into this one. And uh, yeah, there's a lot weird going on with this toy. I'm not gonna, I don't even know how I feel about this. First of all, you see the paint, right? Vapor 1X Lite. I don't actually think that this is a Vapor 1X. Let me show you why, okay? So the top numbers right here is the blade pattern. That one's completely customized. This player has decided to make his own curve. It's an 82 flex, and then under that, you see, we got a 1N. So this stick right here is not a 1X light. It is actually a 1N painted to look like a 1X light. And I, I really don't know why they do that. I'm guessing it's for like marketing purposes. Like they want certain players to use certain sticks. So I saw this one, it's like, okay, I like the look of the 1X light. I've never tried a 1N, but I kind of want to try it. And it's sort of the blade I want. This is the Bauer Stock P28. This is the customized blade. I thought it was, essentially similar to a P28 or maybe close to a P92 and uh, that's how similar they look. First things first, I'm just gonna dump out a ton of pucks, take some shots and uh, get a feel for the stick. Let's do it. This is 100% uh, not an ad for Bauer by the way, but if anyone from Bauer is watching, I mean, I'll take some stuff, I'm just saying. Another thing, I'm trying a new tape job, all right? I know this is kind of dumb and, and kind of minor, but I'm trying a little candy cane action, all right? I got the little knob, and I wrap the tape around, make a little candy cane for some extra grip. I've been meaning to do that for a while, but you know what, I just kind of want to switch my life up, so we're changing everything around. Oh, that top right corner. All right. All right, this stick's not bad. like a nice and easy stick handling drill. This is what I always used to do in high school. Just set up two pucks, face the pucks, and then figure eights in and out. Toe drag, whatever you have to do. Get a little feel for the stick. Nice and easy. That's how you get the hands warmed up. So we've got top right corner all locked in. Let's go top left for a few times. Double pipe. There we go, there's one. There's two.10, 15 shots with this stick so far. I gotta say, it's not too shabby. The main difference I'm feeling in this is the flex point. So obviously if you have an actual 1X, not just the one that's painted like a 1X, you got that low kick point. With this, you have more of a neutral. When I put my hand down here, I can actually feel the flex happening right where my hand is. And it's actually kind of nice. I sort of like it. I haven't done this in a while. That 
actually felt pretty insane. Hold on, let me try it again. Has this been the key all along to having a good slap shot? Are you kidding me? Not bad, and top left. Holy, top left. So first impressions on the twig. I think I actually really do like the mid flex kick point that you get in the one end. Obviously it's kind of confusing because this is the one X light, but you guys know by now. My shots were hitting corners, nice and quick release. The blade felt really similar to what I've been using. I think it honestly might be exactly the same. So there's that. There is one weird thing I noticed in this blade and I mean, that's kind of what you get when you get pro stock sticks. Everyone has their own customizations, the exact specs that they want on their blade. Look at this though. So I didn't really notice this until I compared them side by side. Look at how fat this blade is, dude. Usually this blade would cut down more towards here. It's like maybe half an inch or a little bit less fatter right here and then it kind of tapers off. A huge amount like I said, but these are sitting exactly in the same place. This blade is raised up. So it actually kind of gives you more surface area to control the puck. Now I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. The one thing I can think is maybe if you're going for deflections or face-offs or you know pucks bouncing around, you're trying to keep it in the zone. Maybe having a thicker blade here could somewhat help you out. I was sort of worried when I bought it that it have a weird feel or affect my shooting or stick handling, but no, it kind of feels the same. So maybe that's a new thing, fatter blades. All right, time to grab some pucks and uh, let's run it back one more time all the way around and uh, we'll move on into some other stuff. I haven't done a backyard target shooting challenge in a long time. I'm gonna go all of the outer corners, starting bottom left, working our way around the top to the bottom right and see how many pucks it takes us. I think we can do this in one try. There we go, there's left. Okay, maybe not one try, maybe maybe second try, second try. Third try. There's bottom left. There's mid left, top left. How do I miss top left? I was nailing that earlier. All right, so we hit all nine corners there. Got a little bit lucky. One of them bounced kind of off the off the tarp and, and went in, but you know what? Pucks bounce off goalies all the time. They find their way in and still counts as a goal. So that's gonna be good for the little shooting practice. Ooh. All right, pretty good shooting session over here. I'm still getting a feel for the twig. I don't feel like I have the power quite where I want it to be, but accuracy, I mean, can't argue with the results. We were hitting corners. We hit all nine. Things look pretty good. If you guys are wondering if you should buy pro stock sticks, Honestly, I'd probably recommend it. I mean, I got this thing for $100. Usually these go for around 250, 300 bucks. So a top of the line stick for 100 bucks, absolutely nothing wrong with it, never even used. Can't beat that deal. The only downside is if I really get used to this stick and the blade curve, like, I'm probably never gonna be able to find it again. So that's the one downside. But yeah, we'll see if I start using it as my regular stick. I'm gonna keep using it, keep on stick handling, keep on shooting. And that leads me to my next point. This is what I wanna start doing every single day. So this is my challenge to you guys, and I'm gonna be doing it too. Every single day for the rest of this hockey season, I'm gonna come out here and shoot at least 100 pucks. Now I know 100 pucks sounds like a ton, but I had 25 or 30 in my pile, and I was rolling through those so fast. So it's probably only like, 20 or 30 minutes a day, you gotta come out here and just shoot pucks. I really wanna work on improving. You get into this cycle, especially going to beer league of just like going to the games and then kind of tapping out. I wanna actually start getting better. I'm gonna come out here every single day, fire pucks away, and hopefully work on my accuracy, my power, and my release. And the goal is I think we'll just come back in two to three weeks and hopefully compare our shot in this video right here 
to our new and improved shot. Challenge number two to go along with that. Obviously, I've got to work on my shot, but what else do I need to work on? My stick handling. You can never be too good at stick handling. So I'm gonna spend 30 minutes a day either out here or in my basement just stick handling around, doing the super deeker, going around pucks, setting up my own little obstacle course. Whatever you have to do, do it. Same thing, after two, three weeks of doing that, we'll start to feel some differences and uh, hopefully improve our hands. Hey, you know what? It was kind of nice just getting to chill and chat with you guys today. I hope we can do more videos like this because honestly, I had a blast doing it just chilling like sitting here talking to the camera getting some things off my head to end this video i wanted to go over some new content ideas that i've got stored up here all right number one if you don't follow me on twitch you definitely should what i'm thinking to do on there instead of doing just the gaming stuff like i normally do usually just play nhl chill for a few hours i think i want to start doing real life twitch streams now, i don't know exactly what that would look like yet maybe it'd be streaming from the battery and streaming our 30 minutes of stick handling streaming a day maybe it'd be actually getting a gopro live feed onto twitch so you guys can watch watch my GoPro hockey games. I don't know yet. The next idea is one I've been sitting on for a while. Me and John's plan. We're gonna start a new series I'm not 100% on the name yet, but basically the idea is we're gonna go out there and just progress and practice and show you guys, especially John's progress, as he starts out in hockey and improves over time. We could either do this at the battery, at a pond, we do skating drills, stick handling drills, shooting drills, maybe even some defensive drills, just everything to try to improve his game and you can see kind of how he started out and what he'll become. If you guys have any name ideas for that series, put it in the comment section down below, but the one that I thought of, Bender to Beauty episode one featuring Nasher and John's pet. Let's go. Eh, I don't know, maybe. I'll see if you guys come up with something better. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this more chill vlog style video. If you did, be sure to hit the video with a like. Subscribe if you haven't. We got tons of hockey content on the way. And yeah, I want you guys to be on that grind. So 30 minutes a day of shooting, 30 minutes a day of stick handling, and we're both gonna be on that grind getting better together. That's it for this one. Hope you guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Peace.